Good morning, Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to look at uh, some electronic typewriters and how to manipulate the uh, spacing, the pitch from Pica to Elite to Micro and stuff. So here's the uh, the famous wheel rider commercial grade king of electronic typewriters. This typewriter uses uh, print wheels that have a, are coded so it knows what pitch it is. So this, this one is a 12 pitch right here. So when you drop it in, all it's going to be able to do is type in 12 pitch. You, you can't change it because it, it knows what wheel that is. So the only way to change the pitch is to change the wheel to something like this, which is a 15 pitch. An even smaller, you know, micro size wheel set. Let's put this in and I'll show you that wheel is set. Okay, so it's all ready to go. Let's zoom down a little bit. And we'll, uh, we'll put a paper in here, but I got this, uh, this paper's got one inch columns here, so we can just take a look and see. What's happening here? So let's move up to one of these one inch columns right there. And we're just going to type in that's a 12 pitch wheel, so it should be 12 spaces per inch. Okay. 12. Okay. Okay. So if you look down here, it's got 12 spaces per inch. That's, a, that's what this typewriter is going to type like with that print wheel. It's the only spacing it's going to do. You can't change it. Let's put it back in here and show you the next wheel that IBM has. So this is IBM 12 inch. Okay, so we're going to take this wheel out. Toss in the 15 wheel. Home it, it's ready to go. Let's come over here and type out numbers. 15, 15, 10, 15. So there's 15 per inch there. So with the 15 pitch wheel, it will fit 15 characters in that same one inch space, and of course 15 uh, letter characters too. So that's how that's how the IBM Wheel Rider works. Let's move on to the next machine, which is the Brother Professional. Professional model. One of my favorite machines that brother made is not their portable. This is a commercial grade machine. Let's plug this guy in. And we're not going to change the print wheel on this. It's just going to stay the same print wheel it's got right here, which is a 12 pitch print wheel. We're just going to leave that wheel in there, but we're going to manipulate the uh, the pitch. Anyhow, so let's reset this. And let's put our paper in there. Make sure this is homed up here. Back in our line paper. 
This also has paper insert over here. So you press that and it feeds paper through. IBM does that too. Okay, let's return this over here. So this has settings on the keyboard right here. Pitch, Pica, Elite, and Micro 15 pitch. And that's all you do to switch the spacing. Print wheel stays the same on this one. So let's start with 10 pitch. And we'll put the name of the typewriter here. Type in 10 characters here. So that's got 10 and 1 inch. I'm going to switch this lever to 12. And let's do the let's do it now. Now, to get really fancy, we're going to switch this to 15 up here, and we're going to do it again. Move over here. Alright, let's pull this out. And see what we got here. So the brother on this top. Come on, Mr. Camera, let's focus up here. So this top line here is 10 pitch, so there's 10 numbers or 10 characters in that inch space. When we move that to 12, it goes 12 characters. That same inch space. 15. It goes 15 spaces. Now when it does that, it kind of crowds these letters. They actually touch. The numbers touch and so do the letters. Uppercase would be a little bit worse even. They would really crowd. But it will fit into a smaller spot. Let's, let's put some capitals in here so you can see how much it crowds when a when it's in micro print. So that's right about. So, capitals, the brother capitals are up here, so you so see how they, they crowd, they touch each other pretty regular. But they're still legible, and you get a whole bunch of characters in one inch. So that's the brother, I should, should have printed that down here, but, okay, so that's how the brother works. Let me turn this one off. And pull up one more for demonstration purposes. And that is the Smith Corona Portable. Not all these Smith Corona Portables have a 15 pitch, but this one does. Let's plug it in and show you how that works. So, on off is right down here. Typewriters. Spell check on. Let me turn that off. Okay, so let's put this on. This one is adjustable in this digital screen. So you use the code button here. Format. It tells you what the pitch is. With this little arrow. You can barely see that there, but we can switch that. I'm going to put it on 10 pitch. Out of format. So. Let's put our paper in there we're using. The one inch columns. And uh, show you how that works. So this is the Smith Corona.
Okay, so let's go here and we'll type in 10. Come over here and we'll put in some letters. Okay, so now we're going to switch to 12. It's pretty simple. Code, format, change that little arrow, put it back to type mode. And let's type in 12 characters. Now we're going to go 15 pitch here. Change the pitch code format. Back out. So let's try this one now. Let's try some letters. Smith Coronas, top two here are 10 pitch, so you get 10 spaces, just like the IBM up here, well, the IBM, we only did it in 12 and 15, kind of like the brother here, top line, it's the same, there's your letters, when you switch to 15 pitch it gets a little smaller, it just squeezes it together, these letters are still the same height print wheel still the same it just looks like everything is smaller and it prints pretty good even in 12 pitch with the letters they don't crowd but when you get to 15 pitch of course it's going to squeeze these really close together lowercase pretty close capitals close but readable so that's uh that's the difference between these three typewriters kind of a fixed type style on a really nice IBM. The Brothers, you can manipulate it with the same print wheel. And the Smith Corona, which is a little bit of a smaller machine. IBM was the biggest, Brother was the next size down, and then this one is considered a portable. It actually has a handle on it under here, so. Um, but it's one of their top end portables. And that would that shows uh, this 10 pitch, 12 pitch, 15 pitch, which all use the same print wheel to do all three of these. Brother uses the same print wheel for all these. IBM, you need to switch this print wheel to get the micro print here. So that's their little tutorial on trying to get things to print in a smaller space. We are Phoenix Typewriter. Good day.